Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another coaster spotlight contest edition. Back with the legend bracket. I'm pretty excited about this episode because it's essentially a park spotlight. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing well today. We're getting into it with MKP Steak City, created by Nimzol. And here they say, under the command of Chief Beef, Steak City is a paradise for those who love flesh. <laughs> What? Each citizen is required by law to eat at least a piece of meat every day. As not all citizens are happy with the laws here, a secret brotherhood is rising. The vegan brotherhood wants to finish this butchery and force everybody to eat only green stuff. <laughs> Ride preferences. If you're going to ride each coaster only once, Chief Bee Patrol, first row day, Vegan Brotherhood, fifth row night. But feel free on doing what you want. The coaster is ready for all POVs. PS1, I have uh, set the number of guests to a thousand because having fi max 500, the coasters didn't work properly due to the lack of guests. Each coaster has four trains running. I hope this is not a problem. If you want more background about the theming, you can find it on the workshop and description. Well, you kind of give us a pretty good background. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I just want to get right on into it so let's do that i have to start things off from this top down view i don't think this might actually be the thumbnail it looks like a nimzel park for those that you don't know nimzel is basically known for being one of the best park creators in this community this is super exciting because i think this might be his first ever contest submission and he's essentially made another one of his parks and the same sort of layout format, MKP Steak City. I mean, it, it looks and feels like a Nimzel creation. Steak City, uh, Constitution, Article 1, all citizens must have uh, eat meat every day. Article 2, comply Article 1. <laughs> it's groovy, it's fun, it's crazy. I love everything about it already and I have barely set foot in here. <laughs> the Vegan Brotherhood versus the Steak Patrol. This is so cool. Chief Beef Burger, no greens inside, extra bloody. My goodness. This is hilarious. So much fun. And I love when people try to make these immersive cities. We talked about that, how I freaked out on Hacker vs. Programmer by Warngar. So this is definitely tick tickling my fancy. Stake City Police Department, SCPD. <laughs> I love their monuments. They're taking this seriously. You've created a fun universe. What's this hot dog? It's a hot dog slide? Everybody goes to the hot dog slide to go get their burger? This is hilarious. The buildings are amazing. Grill zone only. Look at this park, wow. Where are we going? Dead end, or is it? Hmm, I think it's supposed to be. <laughs> Here we are at the Vegan Brotherhood. Better in dark, okay. I feel like I need to look around a little bit before I, uh... Oh wait, Steak City Station. So these are the two coasters. All right, we can come back to this in just a moment. I just want to wander around. Oh, that's the monorail. Just want to get lost a little bit. It's a Nimzel Park after all. I mean, I think I might have hit everywhere, except for up here maybe. Wait, there's another queue? There was two back there. What is this? They're queuing up for something. Is this the monorail? Holy moly, that's actually the coaster? Wow. But then what's this? Oh, that's the flat ride. Gotcha. Okay, well, we're gonna start with the chief beef, of course. Here we go. Steak Patrol. <laughs> I love how we're queuing through the buildings. Look at this. Wow. Excuse me, coming through. Q. 
Keep Steak City free of vegans. Keep Steak City free of vegans. Oh, wow, that's the first in the contest so far. The Typhoon Infinite. Oh, but it's swapped out for the uh, Interceptor motorcycles. And you still kept the G-Forces good. Wow, absolutely amazing. So, well, he said if we only ride this once, Chief Beef is better in first row day. But we, we will probably come back to this. This is the legend bracket after all. So we'll start with this and then uh, see where it leads us. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's go. Something about this tickles my fancy so much. I have to see what this sign said back here. He's always really nice with his shoutouts. Powered by Channel 5 Gaming, this coaster has been created for the Channel 5 Gaming Dueling Coaster Contest. Thank you! Everyone's forgetting to put that on their workshop page. We need to spread awareness of our community if we want our community to grow. So shame on you for all of those who didn't put that in your Steam description. Shame! 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 I don't have a bell. Um... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, we are not. Uh, we were definitely taking our time with this. This, I love the fact that you use the Typhoon Infinite because it has these abilities to lift straight up, but also launch and drop like this. And you're you you're swapped it out for a motorcycle. Like this would be terrifying. But yet the G forces were actually acceptable, weren't they? Yeah, totally acceptable. You pulled it off. I tried making a motorbike do uh, inversions and stuff, and like I was having the hardest time. It was not going well for me. <laughs> so I, I I am very impressed by your innovation here to use the motorcycles, the first of the contest, and you've done such a beautiful job with the city. Anyways, enough of me ranting. We have the vegan brotherhood to go on, and this one was best viewed at dark. I don't know what time dark is, but we'll go 10 p.m. So, uh, I also love the fact that you have four trains running simultaneously. <laughs> to to Mati Zucchini. Okay. I love the fact that you have, uh, four trains running simultaneously. Because it's just like there's, like, vegans everywhere and the cops are just chasing everyone. It was just chaos. You just created chaos. One, I do not talk about veganism. Two, I do not talk about veganism. Three, if someone else is catched by Chief B Patrol, go to rule t one and two. Only 12 bikes per... per... <laughs> per action. Only four actions at a time. Don't wear fur clothes. The action the action lasts for 130 seconds. If this is your first time at the Brotherhood, you have to ride. <laughs> it's very unvegan. It's very unvegan to not talk about veganism. <laughs> I think this <laughs> this Brotherhood is gonna fall apart. <laughs> Keep animals alive. Eat vegan. This is so cool. <laughs> Sterilization zone. 
<laughs> okay, stats on this one uh, aren't quite great across the board, but still great G forces. This one's taken off. We'll do seat view again, and then we'll mix it up for the future ones. Uh, unless he asks for something else. Uh, for Vegan Brotherhood, well, fifth row. It says fifth row. So what's that? Car five? I guess so. And night. There we go. <laughs> There's something so ridiculously immersive about this. I almost felt like all these people were vegan resistance, setting out to go put posters up and <laughs> set justice to the city. I don't know. There's something crazy about it. The life chamber, they're growing giant tomatoes. And like throughout the, the ride, I noticed there's like, we're going to these like secret tomato stashes and stuff. It's almost like they're bringing tomatoes out and stashing them around the city for other vegans to pick up. It's hilarious. And now that I think about it, looking at the chief experience, it was, it was like we were chasing them down. So you've definitely nailed the versus aspect in some incredibly strange way that was just so freaking fun and phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, this is so great. So I think oh, before this one leaves, we have to get back on the beef patrol and just check it out in like a, an orbit or something. And then maybe we'll go back on vegans in a, a cinematic. So much fun. Actually, hmm. Yeah, we could do orbit from the back.
so much fun. Let's go back to the vegans and we'll do cinematic at night. Oh, I guess it's already set tonight. They all bought a bunch of cop hats from Fat Hats. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like they're going undercover. <laughs> they're disguised. I had a thought to come to mind. Wouldn't it be amazing if the Theme Maker Toolkit would allow people to make custom hats for the guests and sell them at Hats Fantastic? And maybe even a condition where you're not allowed to go on a ride without a certain particular hat? <laughs> that would just make the theme eat so much better. My goodness. Love it, love it, love it. Let's talk about it. I think this is just a, ma a masterful, legendary creation. I love everything about it. It has so much humor. This, the verses is just hilarious. Uh, the city, the, the park is very MKP. It just tickles my fancy in so many ways. It's just undescribable. Now, if I were to give some feedback, which is very, very minor, I just had like a thought come to mind. It's not even feedback really, but just a suggestion. I wonder if there's anything you could have done with the the custom billboards and screens where like maybe the vegans were going, when they were going up the lift, maybe there's like a big billboard here that says like, eat meat. And they like, when they pass by it, they like spray paint over it, like eat tomatoes. <laughs> you know, something like that where every billboard and poster you you know you go by it switches the image out for another one like there or is there like a video or something and it's timed on the loop and then like the the, the police are going around and uh ripping them down you know there could there could be something like a little bit more anarchy maybe they're burning like the they, they pass by the beef factory and set it on fire or something yeah just little ideas like that where they're they're trying to promote going out setting up posters and promoting the vegan brotherhood and the cops are just trying to like Un, like keep order <laughs> something like that uh just a small suggestion i think that could have been like slightly fun to push that the whole theme a little bit further but obviously even without that it's it's just legendary everything about it is just flawless the city's amazing how everything is intertwined at multiple different heights and variations it's uh it's it's great it's absolutely legendary and i'm so happy to see nimzel competing in a coaster contest like this but coming forward with he, he's just added a, another park to his resume essentially by creating a Nimzel MKP Steak City. So <laughs> Really love it, man. What more can you say? If you have anything to add, leave your comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. And that's going to do it for me in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next contest submission. Bye now.